There was a discussion about where we draw the line on what a species is. At first glance, it seems like a straightforward answer. It's when members of the same group interbreed and produce fertile offspring, as the great Didius Davinsky, the creator of the biological species concept, would say. Is it that simple? I wish. You see, dogs, wolves, and dingoes can all interbreed and produce fertile offspring, but they are categorized as different species. But different dog breeds like the Great Dane and Chihuahua can't interbreed with one another, yet they are still classified as the same species. Why is that? Well, there are many other concepts that define a species, such as the morphological and evolutionary species concepts, just to name a few. The domestic dog is thought to be a descendant of the gray wolf, and dingoes are thought to come from domestic dogs. However, all three of these animals look different, behave differently, essentially live differently than one another. So drawing the line at interbreeding and fertile offspring, or any other concept for that matter, is not enough. Throughout the discussion, everyone came up with different ways to define a species. How can we be so sure on what makes a species when everyone's giving different explanations as to what a species is? That's an issue. We're not sure on what makes a species a species. A question was raised that changed the way I approached the discussion. Do species even exist in the first place? Light bulbs and church bells started going off in my head and I realized there are so many flaws and exceptions that we highlighted in our discussion. It's probably because species are just a flawed human construct made to help scientists classify and simplify our very confusing world. A world where dogs and wolves can produce fertile offspring but some different dog breeds can't. A world where tigers and lions, when not restricted by behavioral and environmental barriers, can produce fertile offspring like the liger, yet be classified as different species. Mother Nature doesn't abide by the laws of humans, and we are struggling to understand it. But by creating these concepts and classifying organisms to the best of our abilities, we can try to understand the intricacies of nature. Do species exist? Where do we draw the line on what a species is? There's no sure answer to this. One thing's for sure, we need these concepts and theories to help us simplify and understand nature, or else we'd be lost forever.